All right, thank you all for joining. Feeling a little sick today. Um, we got our flu shot as a family the other day and we're all trying to fight it, so. Been sleeping all day. Gonna try to make this. Um, the reason I'm making this one is every time I make like a, an Asian dish on the Blackstone. Hey, Easy Big Barbecue, what's up, man? Thanks for joining. Daddy Dutch, I got your mail. All right, kind of scared, but I'll open it. <laughs> all right, so I got your mail. I'll definitely open it. Yeah, so when I make this Filipino dish, like the pancet with rice noodles or whatever, uh, I always have viewers that, um, that don't have access to Asian markets. So I always give them advice like, hey, I used to cook it with uh, spaghetti noodles. It might sound kind of weird, but it actually works. So I'm going to make it with spaghetti noodles. All right. Mike64, Lewis, thank you. Thank you all for joining. Marcy's World, am I saying it right? Marcy's World, give me a thumbs up if I said it right. I always mess up your name. Papa Joe, thanks for joining. Let's warm up the griddle. Let's see. Oh, Maria. All right, Maria. Okay, I got it. All right. So with this one, since we're doing shrimp and noodles only, or spaghetti noodles, we're not going to like scorch it. We're just going to go medium, medium, low. All right, we're going to take our time. Let's see if we could pull it off. All right, with this one, I'll definitely make you guys two plate and you decide at the end which one becomes the official thumbnail for this video. First thing you want to do is you want to use uh, shrimp, whatever shrimp you have. Let's give it some uh, stir fry oil. Give it a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt. Give it some garlic. Onions.
All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move it towards the cooler side of my griddle. It's still a little warm on this side, so. So what I have here is some spaghetti noodles that's been uh, boiled and drained. Some water to hydrate itself. All right, while I work on the noodles, while I season it, I'm gonna give you two options really quick. Oh, sorry about that. Hold on. There we go. I don't know what's going on, hold on. Give me one second. All right, there we go. So let me give you two options. There's something going on with my gimbal. Sorry about that. All right, let me give you two options here. So we have dipping sauce and we have soy sauce. So what do you, I'm gonna season the noodles with? With some dipping sauce? Or you wanna go safe and go with soy sauce? Comment below and I'll read it as soon as I get done seasoning these spaghetti noodles. Not too much, but a lot of pepper though. Let's see, what are you guys saying? Dipping sauce, Papa Joe says dipping sauce, low sodium soy sauce. Who's that, Jose said that? All right, so, so far we have 50-50. Next one, Mike 64 dipping sauce. Still don't know what panset is. <laughs> Just rice noodles. All right, dipping sauce it is. All it is is just rice noodle with a lot of sodium, but we're using spaghetti sauce. All we're doing really is giving it that Asian flavor. Of course, you know Ponce has like cabbage, carrots, a lot of vegetables with it. So I got them shredded. Of course, we're gonna give it some more. Alright, we're 
almost done. So what I'm going to do. Remember, it's October. Hope you like that shot. Then we're gonna give it some uh, lemon. We're going to give it one last seasoning, green onions. All right, we're done. I'm just going to turn it off. And I'm gonna set up to make a couple plates and then you decide which one becomes the official thumbnail for this video. Hope this video shows you that you could use uh, spaghetti noodles instead of uh, rice noodles if you don't have access to rice noodles. All right, let you make you a plate. Let's do this.
Then if you want to get fancy, you can do uh, get one of these rice seasoning. Makes it taste like sushi. So. So you could kind of season it a little bit. Get a little bit on the rice. Always looks good on the rice. There we go. All right. So I'm going to do a flyover. I just need you to vote whether you like thumbnail number one with a rice and ponset or thumbnail number two with just all ponset. All right. Go ahead and comment below and I'll do a flyover and I'll read your comments. Don't forget the egg. Backyard. What was that? Backyard cooking with Mark. Yes, the egg is actually going to be the crown for today's menu. So the winner will get crowned with an egg. Daddy Dutch says two. Okay. Backyard cooking with Mark says two. Okay. Doxy Lover. Alloway says two. Easy Bake says one. Oh, okay. What do you guys think of uh, that seasoning? Looks pretty good close up, huh? Mike64 says number two. Here's one. Beautiful close up. And then there's two. Seasoning looks good. Thank you, Daddy Dutch. I appreciate it. Gives, it gives it a good pop at the end. Let's see, Mike64 says number two, so it's looking like number two is winning. Oh, Lewis! The last second voted number one, but you still outnumbered. Number two is getting some good votes. All right. So let's just call it number two. <laughs> Lewis says it's a hard decision. I know, I know. Trust me, I'm the one that has to make it, you know? All right. Let's crown number two. Most likely, I will probably move it like this. So this would probably be your thumbnail right here. All right. It's October. Everything's got to have an egg. Oh, and Tom's Tinkering and Adventure says, uh, I'm not allowed to say Eggtober because he's got a patent on it. <laughs> all right hey thank you all for joining have a safe weekend all right and if you guys decide to make any of our dish please tag us on any social media with hashtag robert roy we greatly appreciate it. it's the fastest way we could keep track on who's uh making some of our dishes all right have a safe weekend i'll see you tomorrow bye